Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Raising awareness of stroke in newborns in African community. Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Osi the Bone Child and thank you so much for watching Africa Diaspora News Channel. Today, I want us to learn about strokes occurring in newborns because strokes occur as frequently in newborns as in the elderly. Yet it often goes unnoticed and untreated. So this video is for those that care for the children and aspire. A stroke is a sudden stoppage or decrease in the flow of blood in the brain, severe enough that it can cause damage to the brain. There are two types of stroke, ischemic and hemorrhagic strokes. Ischemic stroke is when the blood flow to the brain is diminished, usually because of a clot called a thrombus. Hemorrhagic stroke is when blood vessels in or near the brain ruptures, causing bleeding in the brain. The instance of stroke in the newborn period is very high compared to infancy and childhood. Synovus thrombosis occurs in one out of 6,000 newborns. Arterial ischemic stroke is one of 4,000 newborns and hemorrhagic stroke is one of 4,000 newborns. After the newborn period, the risk of stroke drops significantly and remains low until old age. Stroke in newborns usually show no clinical symptoms and the problem often goes unrecognized and thus untreated until the baby is much older. The usual symptoms seen in older children and adults such as speech problems, numberness on side or imbalance are difficult to or impossible to detect in the newborns. Of the newborns who do show symptoms, the vast majority present with a seizure. The symptoms of seizure are sometimes difficult to spot in newborns and they include the following. Repetitive facial movements, including sucking, chewing or eye movements, unusual bicycling or pedaling movements, staring up near or pauses in breathing associated with slowing of heart rhythmic jacking movements, including the muscle of the faces, tongue, arms, legs, or other regions stiffening or tightening of muscle groups, quick single jacks involving one arm or leg or the whole body. One major sign of stroke in adults is weakness on the side of the body. However, the newborn's brain is immature and this symptom may not appear in the newborn's victim of stroke. Generally, about 15% of newborn stroke victims show less movements on one side of their body. One-sided weakness becomes easier to recognize as the baby gets older. Handedness is a symptom of stroke that may arise sometimes after the newborn period, from around 6 weeks to 6 months of life. These babies may favor their left or right hand and reach out more with that hand. Some parents mistake this as meaning that the baby is advanced for their age, when in reality it is a sign of stroke. In healthy children, handedness does not normally appear until about 12 months. There are a number of factors that can be put uh, a newborn at higher risk of a stroke. If the newborn has a birth defect that involves a hole in the heart, it is easier for clots to pass through other parts of the body, through the heart and up to the brain. 
if there are family histories of clotting problems, the risk of stroke is higher in the newborn. Serious infections such as sepsis and meningitis can also lead to clotting. Other risk factors are those previously described such as hydration and childbirth. Sometimes stroke can be diagnosed while the baby is still in the womb. Generally, this occurs if a child or birth defect is suspected and the mother is given a test called the photomagnetic resonance imaging. The photomagnetic resonance imaging is very effective at detecting stroke in the fetus. In some fetuses, if the stroke is particularly severe, it can be detected on a normal ultrasound during pregnancy. Once the baby is born, further imaging of the brain can be done to confirm the diagnosis. In addition, all newborns that have seizure should be given an ultrasound and a CT of the head. They may also be given magnetic reasoning imaging. The photomagnetic reasoning imaging is more sensitive, but any stroke of significance would be seen on a CT. In an ideal world, a magnetic reasoning imaging would be done first, followed by other tests called magnetic resonance arteriogram and a magnetic resonance venogram to look more closely at the blood vessels in the brain. Although stroke can be diagnosed during pregnancy, the fetus cannot actually be treated for the conditions until after they are born. Once the baby is born, it is not possible to reverse this damage that has been caused by the stroke. However, sometimes a medication called anticolgant can be given to prevent the clot from getting worse. An anticolgant decreases the clotting ability of the blood. If the baby has had an ischemic stroke and there is no evidence of bleeding in the brain, an anticolgant can be used to stop the clot from getting worse. Research has shown that the use of an anticolgant is safe in the treatment of synovenous thrombosis with no bleeding in the brain. Although one quarter of newborns with this type of stroke who do not receive an anticolgant have a worsening of their blood clot. On the other hand, Newborns that have arteriosemic stroke generally do not need an anticoagulant unless there is an additional blood clot in the heart that could move up to the brain. If the baby has had an hemorrhage stroke, which means that there is bleeding in the brain, an anticoagulant should not be used because this will make the bleeding even worse. Because newborns new or many newborn strokes actually occur in pregnancy, every precaution should be taken to make sure the fetus receives healthy blood flow while in the womb. Expectant mothers should eat properly, refrain from cigarette smoking and avoid becoming dehydrated. If an expectant mother has a strong family history of clotting disorders, she should be tested to see if she can carry a genetic problem called factor V Raiden, which can cause clotting in the baby. If doctors know that the baby may have this condition, they can take the necessary steps to, to manage it. And if a baby has too many red blood cells, which can arise if there is a problem during pregnancy or childbirth, the newborn may be prone to developing clots. Stroke can sometimes be prevented in these newborns by giving them a partial blood transfusion where the blood is diluted with saline. It is important for parents to be aware of stroke in newborn period. If you think that something is wrong with your baby, take them to the family doctor. Don't worry that you are overreacting. It is better to be safe than sorry. If your family doctor agrees that your baby could have had stroke, they will refer your baby to a pediatrist who will launch an investigation. The newborn brain is plastic and therefore it is more able to recover after stroke than an adult. 
the nerve cell in the newborn brain are still forming connections and this makes it easy for the baby to transfer important functions to other parts of the brain. For example, if the stroke occurred in the part of the brain that controls speech, as the baby gets older, he might be able to transfer control of this function to other side of the brain because the plasticity of the newborn brain, a newborn may have significant stroke and still be neurodevelopmental early normal. With that being said, there are a number of common complications that can arise from stroke in newborns. Cerebral palsy is the most common complication. Epilepsy, language problems, cognitive or behavior problems, headache disorders and seizure disorders can also emerge as a result of newborn stroke. These conditions require special care over the long term to ensure the best possible quality of the life of the child. Well, this video, I hope we shall be able to counterattack the problem of stroke in newborns in our societies. My name is Osi, the born child, and I'll be seeing you, dear brothers and sisters, in another video. If you think this video was informative and educative, please drop a like and also let me know what you think in the comment section. And most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe to Africa Diaspora News Channel. And hey, check out or see the Bone Child on YouTube. I also have amazing content that side. Bye-bye. I love you all. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.